All right, now that we've got this empty web page here in next.html, let's add some content to it. Um, before we do that, though, um, remember we've got our sketch of what we want it to look like. I just wanted to highlight as well some, some resources. Um, for HTML and CSS, there's a W3 Schools is a, is a pretty good resource. Um, they have Learn to Code, there's HTML tutorials, there's CSS tutorials, JavaScript tutorials, Python, SEO, all sorts of stuff here. So the HTML, HTML and CSS tutorials is what we can look at now, and references as well to look up things. You can get to them from here as well. References, HTML tag reference, CSS reference, all that good stuff. So lots of information here. Um, if we look at Learn HTML, maybe if I start here, yeah, this is kind of neat. It gives me a simple HTML document. This is what I was gonna actually start by showing you. Um, it, and it explains it all. So lots of resources online. Um, w 3 schools great place to look up things. The problem with some of these resources is it's too much. We're not going to learn everything about HTML. Like, look at all this stuff. So these videos and my lessons are going to kind of fine tune what the important parts are for you to understand. Um, in addition to W3 schools, um, MDN or the Mozilla Developer Network, um, Developer Mozilla. Okay, they have some web docs here. Um, and again, if you go to the references, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. So here too, you go to HTML, they have a bunch of tutorials, references, right? If you want to look up specific elements, maybe I want to look up a button element, right? And it gives lots of information here, try it, blah, 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 all that stuff. Okay, so W3 Schools, MDN. W3 Schools is probably a little more beginner friendly. MDN is a little more, it goes into more depth, I think. So whichever one you prefer they're, they're both good resources all right so you know what actually since i open this up here why don't i copy and paste this i'm going to take this code here and we're going to go to our index.html we're going to paste it in and uh one thing you're going to notice right away is i guess i should talk about this now i just remembered i have this extension called prettier installed okay now, VS Code comes with a lot of powerful tools for editing, editing code, but you can also add things with these extensions. So I've got a ton of extensions actually, but the one I'm talking about is if you search prettier, okay, this prettier code formatter is installed already. Feel free to install it yourself. I recommend that. Um, and what it does basically is it formats your code. All right. Now, I also have it set up um, if you type F1, so F1 on your keyboard takes you to this command palette, and I recently did this. You can type the command format document, and it's Shift-Alt-F is the shortcut for that. But instead of pressing Shift-Alt-F all the time, what I did was I went to my settings, settings, and in here I typed in format on save, and I checked that off. Okay, so every time I try to save my file, it's going to format it. And I wanted to highlight that to you because this dot shows me that there's unsaved changes, right? I, I added all of this stuff here. Um, if I go to here, it shows me, yeah, dot there, unsaved changes. So I'm going to go File, Save, or Control S. And you'll probably notice that Prettier is going to format this thing. So Control S, right? And it shows me, it says, you know what? When we nest elements inside of each other, right, there's this HTML element that starts and ends here. We're going to indent whenever we put things inside of elements. So here's a head element. Well, this title element is inside of it. So we're going to um, indent. Here's my body. All your visible content should go inside the body, my heading and my paragraph. Um, that's going to indent inside of here. All right. And did you notice that as I hovered over it, see this MDN reference? So it'll actually, if you're curious about the head element, you can actually click here and it'll take me to the Mozilla Developer Network and give me information about the header, uh, head element. Crazy. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, going back to here, um, if we were to look at W3 Schools, it explains all this st stuff. This is just a declaration that this is an HTML5 document. The HTML is the root element. Everything goes inside of your HTML. Um, your HTML document, it's just like our bodies. It has a head and then a body, right? We've got a head on top, one head and a single body. Okay. Inside of the head goes information about the website, like its title. 
Uh, this shows in the browser's title bar or in the pages tab, that kind of stuff. Um, the body is for your visible content, and these are, this is a level one heading and this is a paragraph. Okay, so some of the, the basic content here that we have here. And if now that we've saved this, I should be able to go back to my index.html. Remember, I just opened that by double clicking on this and it opened up in Chrome. And if I hit refresh now, it'll show you, okay, it says page title up here and it has my heading and my paragraph. Cool. Um, if I change the page title to say PB and J, because we're going to make a PB and J thing, and I hit refresh, it now says PB and J. Okay. Um, if we go back to our sketch, we wanted a, a heading, right? So an H1 is a level one heading. You can have H2s, which are level two headings. I will use some of those. So we're going to change this to PB and J peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I think that's how you spell it. And then I wanted an image, but we're going to save images for later. I'm going to suggest we now do an H2 and see how uh, this editor is used to pro. It's good. It's designed for programming, right? So as soon as I did an H2, it did that slash H2. This is the opening tag. And then the slash H2 is the closing tag. And then in between the opening and closing tag is your content. So my H2, I'm going to have a description, right? And in my description, I'll make it a paragraph, which will just say uh, the classic peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, I recommend making this with grape jelly and all natural peanut butter. Sure, whatever. Okay. And, and that's going to be our, our, our H1, our H2, and then a paragraph. Um, sometimes to keep my paragraphs nice and neat, I like to do this where I'll have, if it's a longer paragraph, I'll have a starting tag and then the actual content um, in between the, the lines here, right? Have it on, have the starting opening tag and closing tag on, on separate lines. So again, that dot means I have unsaved changes. So control S to save that. Right, and now if I go back to here and I hit refresh, here is my H1, right? And by default, the browser makes your H1 bold and bigger. Here's my H2, and again, by default, it makes it bold and a little bit bigger. And then here's my, my paragraph. Um, if you right click and do inspect, or I think Control Shift I is a shortcut, yeah, right click, inspect. Control Swift I. You can see here in this tab, elements in the console. You can see that we have our root HTML element. There's a head, and in the body we've got our H1, we've got our H2, and we've got our paragraph. And these arrows we can expand. Right there's our, our content. Okay, so this is kind of neat to explore the the web page there. Okay, you can also select specific elements. Right, you can say click this, and it'll select that element. And later on we'll talk about the styles. Um, actually, I kind of talked about these are these are the default styles that the browser automatically does, but we can change those styles, and we'll do that later. Okay, cool. Um, you know, let's let's throw some more content in here. We want another um, H2. Now, again, with Visual Studio Code, there's all sorts of shortcuts. Um, if I just type instead of doing the angled bracket H2 like that, you actually don't have to do that. You can just type H2. And this Emmet abbreviation is a tool that, that recognizes, oh, you want to make an H2? You can either click this or just hit tab, and it automatically does the brackets for you. So it saves you from having to do the shift less than, greater than, that kind of stuff. Okay, um, what do we have next? Ingredients will be our next heading. And then I'm going to do another heading as well. Oh, I didn't even do the shortcut. H2, tab, there we go. And then ingredients and what it's next. Oh, instructions. Okay. And then below the ingredients, we're going to have a list. Now let's take a quick, let's save this first. So control S and I hit refresh ingredients, instructions. Okay, good. Um, if I go to here quickly, I think there's each of lists. You can have unordered lists and ordered lists, um, and they're just like this. This UL stands for unordered list, 
and the li stands for list item okay list items and the default is bullets and you can style that differently but we're going to do the defaults and then an ordered list is almost identical it's just an ol instead of a ul okay so let's i'm actually gonna copy this so under here copy and paste and this uh, ingredients here we're gonna do what do we need two slices of bread we need some grape jelly or the jelly of your choice i guess um, and then here we need um, all natural peanut butter anything else no glass of milk to go with it okay um, and now I'm going to do, I'm, I'm not going to copy and paste this one. I'm going to do an OL, right? So OL and tab and an LI to make a list item. Okay. And because it's an ordered list, the list items will be numbered instead of just bullets. And in here, what are my instructions? This is hilarious. How do you make a, you uh, lay two slices of bread on a counter. No, on a plate. Let's not make a mess on a plate. Okay, then I'm going to hit enter here. I'm going to go li again and tab. Um, spread peanut butter on one slice. Okay, I'm going to show you a little shortcut as well. Um, if, you, if you're on a line, you can hit control C. And you don't even have to select everything. You can just be on that line. You hit control C to copy. And then control V and it copies the entire line. Okay, so I copy the next thing and because all i'm going to do is um spread jelly i don't know why i capitalized it jelly on the other slice and then li um put slices together um and enjoy exclamation mark all right fun okay let's do a little save here and hopefully our ul oh and i want to have spacing it's a good idea to kind of make your code look neat have spaces like we've got our main heading space we've got our h2 in the paragraph space right these are each kind of sections on our page it's good to have your code kind of broken up that way too all right so we save it go back to here hit refresh cool okay so this is this is most of our see the, the bullets here the numbers this is most of our content we still need our image and probably some some links i'd like to show you how to add a link um so a link is like a, when you click on something it'll take you to another page but you know i'm going to pause here for now this is our basic oh no actually one last thing uh there's something called an hr so hr stands for horizontal rule and i'm going to put that underneath each of these headings and when i save it okay you'll see that it did that slash that was prettier it added that because that technically this is a self-closing element right here we have an opening tag and a closing tag whereas an hr doesn't have any content so there's no opening tag and closing tag so it's a self-closing tag um anyway so that's why it has that slash there it's kind of an open and closing tag all together in one but what that does is it gives you these lines, these horizontal rules. So just kind of like underlining or separating the title and the content. Title, content, title, content. Okay. Now, of course, this looks, everything stretches 100% width. We'll style that all later so it looks a little better. But I think I'm going to stop there. We've got headings, H1 and a bunch of H2s. We've got paragraphs. We've got lists, ordered lists, ordered lists and unordered lists. We've got HRs. That's pretty good. Next video, we'll do images and links. All right. Hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.